In this video, we're going to define understeer and oversteer. Hey, welcome back to the videos. Um, in this video, we're going to define what understeer is and oversteer is, and also talk about a couple things that can create both situations. Um, first, I want to address the going off my nose and the band aid. Uh, about three months ago, I got diagnosed with basal skin or skin cancer, which is a basal cell carcinoma, which thankfully is the least dangerous of it all. So, um, about a month and a half ago, I had surgery to have all that removed from my nose. Um, and it also affected my cheek a little bit here. So everything's fine, doing good, and we just need to uh, keep continuing with the healing process. So probably have the band-aid on my nose for here just for a little bit longer in some of these videos. All right, the first condition I want to talk about is understeer. So this is when you're going into a corner and as you put steering input into the car, um, your front end just keeps wanting to push or plow through. Um, and what happens is the front tires have less traction than the rear and as you're steering, even if you put more steering input into the car, it just continues to want to go straighten that corner out. If you're experiencing understeer going into the corner, a couple of things that can cause that is you're going into the corner too fast or you're getting on the brakes too hard going into the corner and that causes those front wheels to brake traction and create that push. One of the first automatic reactions a lot of people have is when they start experiencing that understeer um, is to put more steering input and try to steer into that corner a little bit more. That's the absolute worst thing you can do because if you've already broken the traction on those front wheels, adding more steering into it is just going to make things worse. You actually need to decrease your steering input. And something that will cause understeer on an exit of corners if you're in a rear wheel drive car if you've got a good bite on those rear wheels, if you accelerate too hard coming out of the corner, that will also create an understeer situation on the exit of the turn. Now let's talk about oversteer. Oversteer is when the front tires have more traction than the rear tires going through the corner. And this will cause the rear end of the car to fishtail around and that's typically when people spin out is when they have an excessive oversteer situation. Now something that can cause an oversteer situation is obviously chassis setup. Um, but also if you have too much power input on a rear wheel drive car um, and it breaks the traction on those rear wheels, it will create an oversteer situation going through that corner and it will spin you out if you're not careful. And another thing that can affect both the understeer and oversteer situation is your brake bias if you have a way to adjust any of that. Um, so, but we'll go into more of that in future videos and discuss specifically brake bias. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you keep up with us on our YouTube channel, of course. Uh, you can also log into Twitter and follow us there at DJ2Motorsports and also on our blog at DJ2Motorsports.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.